my writing end game? I need an end game? You mean what I want to get out of my writing, my writing goals. Why do I need to know my writing end game? Hi, I'm Autumn Bardot, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back to my channel. I'm all about quick tips, author inspiration, and tricks for the writer in quick, no-nonsense, fast format. Because authors and writers, we don't have a lot of time, do we? My videos are short and to the point because we have things to do. Before I get started, I have a favor to ask. If you are new to my channel or you have been watching and you haven't hit that subscribe button, I would love if you would hit that click, click, click that subscribe button. It costs nothing and it's your way of showing me that you like the content that I'm delivering. So I'll deliver more content. Okay, so now it's all about the author's end game. Do you have one? Why do you need to know your author end game? That means ultimately what you want to be doing every day, by the end of the year, maybe even a five year, 10 year plan. I think and remember, this is really just my thinkings, my ruminations that I'm sharing with you but I think it will help you plan out and manage a whole lot of different things. Now, that's not to say that your end game can't change. It should, it probably will, maybe. Let's take a look at the 10 possible end games you may have. Number one, you just want to publish and write a book. You just wanna see if you can do it. Even if you write and publish one book, you just did what 99% of the people who want to don't do. You're awesome, yay you. Two, maybe you want to write five books or 10 books or 40 books or more. Three, maybe you wanna quit your day job because you are making so much money with your books. If that's your goal, make sure to check out how to write to market and how many books you will be needing to put out per year and all that other good stuff. There are a lot of great Facebook groups where authors who are doing just that share their tips and their advice. Get into those groups. I'll put the name of them in the description box below. Four, you just wanna have fun writing what you want to write. No expectations, no timelines. Number five, you just wanna make a few extra bucks every month. You know, some reward for your effort and creativity. Whether it's $20 a month or $800 a month, you feel pretty good that, hey, people bought my book, yay me. Number six, you just want to fill your soul with purpose. Writing is your zen. Writing, publishing, it just makes you feel good. You don't care about the money. It gives your life meaning and purpose. As I said, money isn't important. Number seven, you want to speak at conferences. You want to make YouTubes and podcasts. You want to become an authority and build your platform. Number eight, you want to use your writing as a springboard to other aspects of the writing field. Maybe editing or formatting, being a book reviewer or a book talker or bookstagrammer, editor or influencer, maybe even a content editor or inspirer for other writers. Number nine, you just want to hang with other writers, make writer and author friends. Maybe you never finish your book, but that's okay. You just love interacting and learning about authoring and publishing and writing. Maybe one day you'll get serious. Number 10, you love conferences. 
You love getting out of your house and going to a conference, meeting new friends, learning new things. You just love conferences. The book? Yeah, when I have enough conferences under my belt, then maybe I will attempt to finish that book. That's 10 writer endgames. Are there more? Of course there are. You create your own. But that was just to get your noggin going. Here's the thing. If you know your writing endgame, then it's so much easier to do the next five things. And here they are. It's easier to make plans for the day, the week, the month, the year, the decade, your future as an author. Two, it's easier to budget your money. Where's it going? Advertising, formatting, editing, conferences, master's classes. Three, it's easier to schedule your available author writing time. That includes writing, all the other stuff that goes with writing, social media, you know how much time that takes. Number four, and this is really important, it is easier to manage your expectations, which leads us to number five, which I think is super, super important. It's a biggie, and that's managing your emotional energy to do all that. For me, I had to totally manage my emotional energy and expectations with the actual author time I had available. I didn't before, and it caused me a lot of grief, a lot of anxiety. In fact, I did a whole video on author burnout, not writing burnout, author burnout. For me, and remember, these are my experiences, your experiences are going to be as individual and unique as you are. But for me, my expectation and emotional energy was not aligning with the actual time that I had available. It wasn't logical, feasible, or realistic at all. It didn't make sense. And I had to really look at my author end game. And once I looked at it, I realized exactly what I needed to put on the back burner, step aside, how I was going to handle the time I did have. I thought I was going to get a jump start on my new historical series work on a very cool master's program that I'll be discussing more in the next few videos, make videos, oh, and work full time. Yeah. Mm -mm. And that's where if I had thought about, really thought about, aligned my expectations with the time that I had available, I would have saved myself a lot of emotional frustrations. Now, can you change your end game at any time? Of course you can, of course. In fact, lots and lots of writers change their end game when new opportunities arise, and you should. Or sometimes opportunities dry up, or sometimes opportunities don't show up at all. Your end game can change when you are exploring new opportunities. And also as your skill level grows and you meet more people, you meet more authors, you get more experience in the author and publishing game, then it can all change, but you still have your eye on that end game. There are many ways to get to a destination. Just ask your GPS. There's a place that I go to probably once a week, it's a butcher. And let's see, it takes me a different way every single time. So what is your end game? Have you even thought about it? I would love to know. And if you do have an end game, has it changed over the course of your author life? I would love to know. Please leave me a comment because authoring, writing, it can be tough. When we have that end game, 
at least a temporary end game, then I think we can put ourselves in the right path in all of those ways. If you haven't already, I would love if you would hit subscribe. I have lots of awesome content coming up in the next few months. And remember writers, to dream, create, and embrace. Bye-bye.